Hey there, I am Angela and I am in this little tiny kitchen for a few days and I thought now is the perfect time to review. Let me show you. I'm excited about this. You guys know, you guys know what I found. Oh, you know how much I love these Dash mini waffle makers and the griddle and it's the shape of Texas. If you travel to Texas and stay in a hotel, most of them, all the ones I've been in, I haven't been in very many, have waffle makers in the shape of Texas. So when I found out that Dash makes this, I said, I gotta try it out. I had to go all the way to Texas to get this, by the way. Mm -hmm. You know what else is cool? And I haven't noticed on the other boxes what they actually say, but this one says, don't mess with breakfast. Like, don't mess with Texas. Yeah. <laughs> That's so funny, it's so funny. So I'm gonna whip up some waffle batter. Mm -hmm. I am in a borrowed kitchen with borrowed equipment with poor lighting. I kind of made this makeshift light here to illuminate the surface. I don't know if it'll make any difference. Since I'm in a borrowed kitchen with borrowed equipment, I had to go to the store to buy supplies. Let me show you what I got. There you go, you like my light? While I don't eat keto necessarily, I do avoid sugar and regular flour and all that stuff. And I did, didn't want to spend a ton of money on supplies. And I saw this at Aldi and said, huh, maybe that'll work. While the ingredients aren't perfect, I thought it'll work in a pinch. And I bought this organic plant protein and I'm going to make them peanut waffles. So I have peanut powder and these are just, they're just for snacking. Oh, and an egg. And I brought a little container of stevia. And then I bought some salt, cause you gotta add salt. There, and I'm gonna plug it in, get it warming up, Texas, and make my batter. Oh, and I forgot, to, since this is a baking mix, it already has the baking powder or self-rising ingredient in it, so I didn't have to buy any of that either. The only mixing bowl I could find is huge. Otherwise, they have like cereal bowls. I think I'm going to mix the batter in this. Also, there's only a liquid measuring cup, so I think I'm just going to use this. It seems like it would hold about a cup. I guess I could test it, but I'm going to use that as my measuring cup. There we go. A better spot for the light. That helps a little bit, I think. Hey there. This is not the best angle, but it's kind of the best I can do. Maybe. Is that better? We'll see how it goes. First, I'm going to do an egg. Woo! Oop. And then you always need some water. Now, oh boy, I am messing this up big time. I'm gonna use this after all. I don't need too much. It's only me. So I'm just gonna put about two thirds of a cup in there. The protein stuff here. One, two. I've never used plant protein before. Three scoops of that. Ooh, one, two, three heaping tablespoons of peanut butter. I have to add some sweetener because I have a sweet tooth. I have this little tiny scoop. It's one thirty second of a teaspoon. I just eyeball it because you don't need a lot, but like I said, I like things sweet. Oh, it got all messed up in there. Ooh, now I got stevia all over my hands. Okay, so I'm just gonna mix this together in here. Did I say I was gonna heat this up first? Oops, I forgot. Let me show you something. I gotta show you guys something. Hang on. There's the waffle maker and look at where the outlet is behind the sink. Yeah, crazy. Okay, so I'm just kind of mixing them together. I should use a fork. Tell ya, on the fly. Well, I guess I can close that so it actually warms up. The light came on. It'll mix in here with the liquid. All right, I'm gonna need more liquid because this is pretty, pretty dry. And I forgot the salt. Gotta have salt. So I'm just gonna add a little bit at a time, stir it up until you know it gets that kind of waffle mixed texture. Maybe it's a little thin. I am going to try it. It's hot. I've got some butter. Doesn't say how much, but I think if I just put it in there and close it, it'll melt and spread around, and it'll be all hunky-dory. Are we ready? Are we ready to make the waffles? 
the Texas shaped waffles. I am. I don't know about you, but I am ready. Do you hear that sizzle? I think I've got too much batter in there. The light's out. Let's check it out. Ooh, look at that. I think I used just the right amount of batter. What'd I do with my paper towel? I don't know. Threw the paper towel out because I was cleaning. My mama taught me to clean up my mess as I go along. Yeah, I'm gonna make another one now. Round two, put the butter melt. Ooh, in the meantime, do I dare sample this one? Mmm. Okay, good enough. Now I will use my new paper towel to spread the butter around. It's not gonna stick to that. And so three scoops was the right amount. One, two, three. Should I tip it so it fills in? It did on one that's on the last time. It'll be fine, fine. What's they say about a watched pot? It never boils? Yeah. Is the light ever going to go out? It's out. Oh, ooh, hot. What'd you expect, Angela? I set it here next to the other one. And I decided that I'm going to put my white chocolate chips in the waffles. While they're hot, it gets melty, and it'll be like a dessert since it's the middle of the afternoon and I'm not really eating breakfast now. Ooh, I think it's a success. My Texas-shaped waffles. Enjoy. If you try my waffle mix, let me know how you like it. But I haven't even tried it yet. Let me try it first. Are we ready? I've got it here on the plate. Got this little spot here. I added a little too much salt, I guess. Yeah, a little too much salt. But other than that, it's nice. I'm fluffy, not an overpowering amount of salt, just a little bit too much. So I'm going to fry up the rest of my batter. Woo, fry that up. Fry it, what am I thinking? I'm going to, I was gonna say grill, a waffle grill. What do you do, cook it, bake it? I don't know, I'm going to make the rest of the batter. And what I don't eat today, I will refrigerate and have for a snack tomorrow. You know what you could always do? You could use it for bread and make a sandwich. The light went off, did you hear that pop? It's hot, it's hot, it's hot, it's hot. All right, let me know what you think of my video. Comment down below. I think it is a fun waffle iron. I will definitely use it again. It's Texas. I had to go all the way to Texas to get this, by the way. <laughs>